how to fix your headphone broken cable head so if you have um, an expensive uh, headphone like Bose and if you accidentally uh, damage this head here and it doesn't work anymore well, now what you can do is you can um, cut it right off and you can go on to um, eBay and buy uh, an extension wire so this wire here you can buy on eBay for a dollar so just get um, this um, cable extension and then what you do you just um, cut it out so what I do I just uh, simply cut out this head that we don't need and we're going to use this to connect to an existing um, headphone wire so what you need to do is um, just cut off the, um, the broken part so on your headphone if this is broken you just simply cut it out so I have already done it I already have cut it out on my headphone here and what we do is we just cut out all, all the wires to make it flat so I just cut it out I just move that away so I'm just going to cut out the white insulation part here so I just cut it soft you can use a, a, a wire cutter or just a uh, scissors I'm just going to use the scissors here Okay, so once you have this one open, you can see uh, there's, there are three cables inside, or there are three wires. Now uh, you should see there's a red one, the green one, and the uh, gold one, like a copper wire. The copper wire, the gold one is the ground wire, so, and uh, you've got the red one and the green one. So the red one is your left, so your left, uh, right side, left side and the green or the blue one is the right side so that's how the difference uh, of these wires so what you want to do, you want to separate all these wires into uh, into each corners so we want to separate them out and on the other one so on the on extension cables what we do, we're also going to cut out the extension uh, insulation we're going to cut, cut out the black insulation so I'm just going to cut it out, it's very soft this one so we can easily cut it right through so just do it slowly so now that I've got this one open and with this one here the wires are very thin so you need to be very careful now this in here is um, same thing you've got um, the green wire then there's red wires and there's a ground wire so this is a, a copper or gold then there's a white insulation, we don't really need the white insulation so we can simply just trim it off so I'm just going to trim it off so I get it out of the way so I'm going to, again I'm going to separate each one of this wire into their own separate corner so this will make it easier first to connect to the other wires later so now what we need to do is um, we need to burn off the insulation part so you see uh, with the red coating and the green coating these are the um, enamel coating so what we need to do is we need to burn it off so you can simply use a lighter to burn it off so just burn it off like this so just briefly burn it off once you burn it off you can see um, the the green uh, coating has gone away so just do it briefly and you want to do it quite well so that um, the, so that the, the wire get exposed so you just use uh, sandpaper or your hand and get it real clean so pull off all the coating so that you can see the the wire get exposed if it doesn't get exposed then it won't transmit so we do that the same with the red one as well so I'm just going to burn off the enamel coating so you can see it's burning right there Oops, we don't want it too much so just do a little bit halfway down you don't want to do it all the way down and then just use your finger and give it a real good clean So once you can see the copper wire exposed, then that will be pretty good. I'll just give this one a real quick clean again. Okay, so now we've got this one done. I'm just going to go over here and do the same. So I'm just going to burn off the green one lightly because the, this wire is very thin. So I'm just going to do it quickly. That's it. 
So same one for the red one. So I'm just gonna give it a real good clean. So what we need to do next is simply uh, joins the red wire with the red wire. So I'm just gonna twist it together like this. So pull it together. So I'm here, I'm going to twist them together. And you can just simply get a sticky tape. You can use an electrical wire or just simply a sticky tape. And then tie them together like so. So we do this so we can separate out the wire so they don't touch with the other one. Then now we go and do the green one. So I'm just going to join the green one together. Like so. So we twist them together really well so that the copper can exp um, the wire they touch each other and it can transmit the sound. So again I'm just going to get a sticky tape and tape this one up so that it doesn't touch the other cables, the other wires. The last one is we're going to join the ground wire together. Okay, and you can use the another sticky tape and we're just going to tape it together like this. So it's a good idea if you can get the sticky tape cut before you start doing this. So that now once we have all this um, joined together, you can give it a test. And once it's all done, you can just put them together and join it like this. And simply just use a piece of sticky tape and tape them together. So I'm just going to tape it together like this and because I'm just doing this video quickly so I'm just gonna briefly tape it together so if you've got more time at home you might want to carefully use this sticky tape and tape it all the way around so once this is done properly you can put it into your mp3 player or your mobile phone and start to uh, uh, listen to the music again thanks for watching this video uh, please subscribe to my channel for more video tutorials.